Hello everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the professional ethics and furthermore the video will be divided into what is professional e ethics, it's important, and the professional ethics within the digital world. The definition of professional ethics is constituted by all the moral standards that govern the behavior and actions of professionals. It should be noted that for each profession these rules may vary but they will always be based on principles and values. Why is professional ethics important? Well, it is a set of rules. It sets the boundaries of the, what is right or what is wrong within the profession. The organization is for, formed by people and as so, it will also help in the personal growth of the professional. So, corresponding of in the behavior that it's having that person and within this framework which can be for that specific industry or way of working if a person acts in the right way and it's also getting the results then it's even also more probable that the same person will achieve internal professional growth as well a team that is working within the framework of behaving in the proper way or in this ethical way with inside the company that will also help on the motivation of the team and also it will increase in the bond and the relationship between colleagues otherwise if a person it's known that it's acting outside the standard norms that it has been set for the company it might be that the persons or the team will start to be or get internal divisions, treat probably different the person that it might be acting in the wrong or bad side of the equation. And here an example could be when people, especially for example in the sales teams, when they require to have performance indicators that can be reached, sometimes people can in order to reach that number can try to seek for for alternatives that might not be the right ones or consider the proper ones so in order to reach that sales number they might try to find out or seek out quick solutions so that they can reach that standard but this is also the same pressure within the internal organization that it's also pushing the some types of behaviors another important aspect on the professional ethics is that it's creating a code of ethics and this way people are behaving within this code and therefore another advantage of setting this code or framework of behavior is that it will regulate how the professionals will act according within the values that are required. But I want to especially also focus on the digital world because with this recent, probably, it's well, not that really recent, but talking about 20, 10 years, and especially with the increase of social media, email marketing, digital marketing, and all what it surrounds the digital world, also that pressure or the need to get results might also push some people to seek ways of also getting these results. And I want to start talking about the so-called vanity numbers, which are the likes, views, shares, and followers. And it's really easy yet you can actually Google out. Then there are pages that can sell you followers, that can sell you likes, views for Instagram, for YouTube, and so on. That these also are meant sometimes to help the algorithm so that to push some type of content. But the actual question is, is this really ethical to do or it's not? And there are some people, and it has been also discussed in several Facebook groups that I have read, that are you trying to grow organically and trying to push it just with the normal ads? Or are you also using these types of websites that are meant to help or also some type of agent agencies that also use this type of techniques that are just meant to push likes, views, shares, followers, so that the accounts that are available in social media, they are just growing in number, but 
as we might also, also can see that in terms of quality or the engagements, it doesn't show the proper ratio numbers that you might have, that they might have accounts with probably hundred thousands of followers, but very few likes in some of the posts. And this also is telling part of the ethic that the so-called influencer or business itself or the account holder that is also showing just to improve the vanity numbers. And also, and probably a, another concern that it might be common, especially also in politics, it's within, in times of elections, is the use of bots and trolls on comments. And to question itself, is it right? Is it actually right to be using bots and trolls, even if the competition is using it? And honestly, it's what made me think like, where is society right now going in terms of in this digital world and the professional ethics just to try to win the elections, just to try to beat out the competition and which, and then we came to also to the discussion are these fake comments and we're not just talking about fake news, but also fake comments that are just trying to support the account or the, of the politician, of the public figure. And this is a thing that also we as society, we must also try to reject, in my opinion, because this is also showing this other part of what are you trying to get out of it. And I, from the many accounts that I'm still seeing, and that question is, okay, the first thing we see in social media is the, the high number of likes that a comment can have from a public figure and it's like and the other comments from other random people they only have like one two three likes and this is the kind of questions that are are coming and are arising like this is this real and is this the way that we want to really behave in the digital world then the questions here are like are these the public figures and or even in the politician that we want to be uh, clapping and being supporting, but also they are doing this type of behavior. Another aspects of the professional ethics in the digital world is the email marketing, the email permissions, and, and moreover, uh, talking about the spam. When companies, yes, of course, we might accept to receive the advertising through email marketing, but sometimes even there are some bad practices that are occurring that even the, if you unsubscribe from some certain part of their email, you still get more emails from other departments and from other parts of the same company that makes questions from the user side to be, to be asked, like, isn't supposed that I also unsubscribe from this company while I am getting still getting emails. And this is the part where I think that even from society point of view or a collective point of view if it is to have the order in to set which is right and which is a wrong type of behavior. And I think that's the part of the professional ethics as probably as an email marketer, when it's right to just start sending emails and to know that also to ask the permission, but also if you are asking the permission to send emails from other departments and that the person must be aware that the company itself has also different departments that will eventually send emails and to try to avoid the spam. And to end up, the, this talk is also about the data privacy and as many data leaks that they might come from big famous companies. This is also a special issue mainly from the business side to be aware of the data privacy and also to avoid also bad practices that this might come, especially companies should focus on their cybersecurity and be aware that they are not just holding their data for their, of course, for their own operations inside the business, but when it's okay to be sharing the data with third parties so that they can also, well, it's that part of the thinking, like is it right also to share it, to do more business, but the user must be aware that this is actually also happening and that they approve to be 
to work like this way. So I hope that this video about professional ethics raised some questions, raised some opinions, and brings up about the discussion, especially for the professional ethics in the digital world and digital online marketing, and especially like that we are already seeing and watching currently, and where is it actually heading, and if we actually want that it keeps heading to that direction. And as the digital marketing and the digital tools are one of the main key communications methods that it's going to be used, it is also our own decision to use them properly. So I hope that this video helped you. If you have some comments, questions, please write down. Thanks for watching. Thank you.